Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about the Yeti Blimp. Uh, this has been around for a while now, and by a while, I mean, you know, a couple weeks uh, since Yetis were introduced to the game in the update, and people found new ways to use them. Um, so it's not totally new, but I want to make a video covering it, because I have some own, my own insights um, in terms of why you use it, and when's the best way to use it, what to pair it with. This is uh, some Town Hall 13 attacks, but I'm also going to show it at Town Hall 11, a lower Town Hall level, because you can use it at multiple different Town Hall levels. It doesn't just have to be Town Hall 13. In some ways, it might even be stronger at the lower Town Hall levels. Um, I know I've been away for a little while, uh, not making videos, but I'm back today, and um, if you guys want to you know, be able to reach me in more real time, you can check out my Patreon where I give uh, base feedback, attacking advice, uh, more on a daily basis uh, rather than like a weekly video or something like that, and it's a little more personalized. But uh, having said that, the power of the Yeti Blimp, um, especially at Town Hall 13, is that the bases are pretty big, so for uh, strategies like, you know, Miners, uh, Hybrid, which is the Miners Hogs, or even like a P.E.K.K.A. or Yeti Smash, um, you would need to make a narrow part of the base to push things through um, so it's a relatively ordered entry and things don't spread out too much. That's kind of what you need for pretty much any attack strategy. The power of the Yeti Blimp is it takes out a section of the base and it makes the base narrow. And what that does is it kind of clears out that skinny path that you need, uh, in this case, for the hybrid to go through. Um, we had the Blimp take out this section over here uh, where you can see the CC dropped. Then we had the Queen Charge kind of go adjacent to that, taking out the Eagle. And from there, there was a nice tight pathing. Uh, you can kind of see it in these compartments bouncing through for the hogs and miners with the king going on the top side. So, yes, you cannot use the siege barracks, that's true, because you're already using a blimp. So you're going to have to use your king, usually, to funnel that other side, um, one of the sides for the miners and hogs, if you're doing a hybrid um, attack. But you get the benefit of taking out a section of the base, and these yetis are really consistent. If you get the battle blimp to where it needs to go, no matter what they drop on, they're going to take it out. I've never seen like a fail where the Yetis die right away because the Yeti might always take out uh, at least a couple defenses. They can get the Town Hall. They can get the Eagle very consistently. You're going to want to use a Rage. Um, I would not recommend not using a Rage. It's definitely worth it uh, in terms of value. So use the Rage. Uh, the combination, if you haven't been familiar with this already, is two Yetis, a Valk, and then like a Barb or an Archer to fill. That's for the Town Hall 13 version that uses 45 troop space. The Valk is sometimes important if you're using it on the Town Hall. Um, I think the Blimp does damage typically, but in case it doesn't drop directly on the Town Hall, you're going to need something to activate the Town Hall so that the uh, Yeti might target it. It sometimes might be the Yetis, but the Valk is good to have in there because uh, she's a little quicker and typically can activate that Town Hall. But you can see right here this next attack um, coming in for the Town Hall. The uh, Yetis take out that plus several other defenses. They clear out quite a bit. So you can uh, really rely on them to take out a good deal even if there's a CC troop. Uh, the CC troops coming out right next to them, even if there's a defensive hero like the King was in this case, they actually took out about half his health and still were able to do the job on the defenses. Um, so one thing this is great to do with, as you've been seeing, is pairing it with a Queen Walk. So this does a great job funneling the Queen. She just takes out a nice little uh, strip of base right here, and it, she'll funnel in to another uh, minor type attack. Not a hybrid, no hogs this time, uh, just using only miners, and previously this would be a very difficult thing to do uh, to set up this type of miner entry because there's a lot here to take out with just a queen charge. The base is just too big at Town Hall 13. It's too wide with a conventional queen charge uh, to make a section of the base narrow enough for miners to path through. And what is narrow enough? Well, typically staying inside the width of a heal spell. That way you can only drop one heal at a time and get all your miners inside that heal. That's what we're looking for. Uh, for this type of attack. So the queen's going to walk in this channel, um, raging her up, everything moving through here, and uh, I think the queen actually will go down in this attack a little bit later. It's pretty close, um, and it's still going to triple pretty easily. Had the queen stayed up, it would have been that much more overkill. So 
Yes, you can pair it with Miners, you can pair it with Hybrid, you can also pair it with a Yeti Smash or a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, and by that we're talking um, typically using the Blimp, take out a Town Hall, take out Eagle, those are or an Inferno Tower, something that's going to also make the pathing good. So it's not just what value can I get with it, it's what, uh, what pathing can you create based off of that. If you drop some troops behind it, you can take out a solid, you know, quarter of the base almost and set up pathing to push through the base with a Yeti Smash or a P.E.K.K.A. Smash or whatever you're going to pair it with. Um, so yeah, typically you're going to use the Blimp Yeti, draw the CC in most cases, have your queen take care of it with some healers on her, she'll do a short walk and then I'll go into a, uh, a basically a spam type mass push through the base there. And uh, don't do too long of a queen walk, too intensive of one, because the Yeti uh, blimp does take some time, and then the CC is going to pull over to the queen. Typically, that takes some time to kill, so you've got to be very cognizant of time when doing this. Be very quick in your execution. Having said some of that, let's take a look at this being used at Town Hall 11. Now, at Town Hall 12, it is also definitely a viable uh, technique, and you can fit two Yetis in your 40 troop space CC. At Town Hall 11, you can actually only fit 35 troop space, so you can only fit one Yeti. This is an example of how you can kind of work around that by using one Yeti and a couple Valks. You can fit two Valks still, uh, plus some change, I think. So uh, it doesn't have to be at Town Hall 13, doesn't even have to be at Town Hall 12. It's still a good way for taking out uh, the Eagle. And this, <laughs> actually, as I... I was looking for an attack, and this is actually my own attack, and if I remember correctly, um, it's kind of funny that I'm showing this now that I think about it, because I totally forgot that the blimp goes to the town hall. Um, for some reason, I thought it would just cut straight across the base. I realized the town hall is right uh, where I dropped it, so my Yetis and Valks dropped right in the town hall. Uh, for some reason, I thought the town hall was over here, I guess. You're just so used to the blimp just cutting straight across the base. So it's actually, I guess this might not be the best example because this tripled despite having a Yeti blimp fail. But you can imagine had it got the eagle, it would have been that much better, um, that much more powerful of an attack. So uh, the point here is that this is a good strategy for, for lots of different town hall levels and it pairs well with, with miners, with hybrid, um, and with, you know, a, in this case a P.E.K.K.A. Smash because you don't have Yetis at Town Hall 11. But um, a lot of the same stuff you do have between Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, and Town Hall 13. And because of that, uh, you, can, you can use this strategy or this technique of the Yeti uh, blimp at multiple different Town Hall levels. Um, so this is just a double jump to the base, let the troops beat through that wall, and then jump to the back end Inferno. Um, and uh, base kind of wraps itself up here. King got good value on the outside, and we will fast forward a little bit. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think. Just a few key things is you always got to watch out for people putting down Seeking Air Mines or the Tornado Trap or just traps in general to try to defend this because as this gets more popular, people try to defend it more. So, you know, keep that in mind. There might be traps uh, at common places for dropping the blimp to take out the Eagle or take out the Town Hall. Be ready for that and in your own base building, try to defend it. Uh, this is a good time to shout out my Patreon, custom war bases every month. Um, check that out, link in the description if you're interested. And that'll do it for today's video. I'll answer some questions if they're in the comments. And I look forward to getting back to it, with hopefully with another video in the next few days. So be uh, staying subscribed and checking for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.